Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, March 30, 2023. I hope you looked at the thumbnail before you cranked up the video. What a transformation, huh? Our 1947 17-foot Higgins Speedster is getting very, very close to reaching the end of her preservation process. She's been fully painted, new bottom. Her ace has been fully rebuilt by Robert Hinkle, Peter Hinkle Incorporated. Her hardware has been turned into jewelry by DNS Custom Metal Restoration in Holyoke, Mass. We are still waiting on one detail. Shauna Whiting at Coastal Instruments is finishing her bow tie instrument panel. You can see down here, this is kind of cool. This thing is, has a foot feed, and Joe is the guy who turned an ugly old thing into exactly the way it looked the day it left the factory in 1947. All that red is new. The foot pedal, of course, is original. The upholstery was done magnificently in period correct red and white by Mark's Upholstery in Middlebury, Vermont. But I have to say that uh, this transformation is probably the single most complete in our experience. It's an entirely different boat. In fact, I'll tell you what, be sure to click on show more under this video because I'll leave the link in there to the video we shot when she appeared here last fall. So every square inch of her, from bow to transom, keel to covering boards and beyond, has been totally preserved. This Rochelle red two-part Interlux paint is just fantastic. The white is the same two-part paint. What's waiting are, of course, the final, final paint touch-ups. She'll be going to Vital Signs and Silk Screening in Colchester, Vermont, as soon as the roads are salt-free so that we can finish her lettering. The Higgins logo will go right here. The lettering on her transom. Well, I guess it'll go on her transom. But, you know, I wasn't much impressed by this boat when it arrived. It had good, well, it didn't even have good bones because of the atrocious treatment it had received over the years. I don't know if you remember, but it had a plexiglass windshield that was in uh, kind of drug traffic or gray, kind of smoked. The upholstery, well, I won't say what I think of the upholstery, but let's say thoughts of a house of ill repute come to mind. So we'll keep her covered under cotton dust cloths and get her lettered as soon as the roads are boat friendly. And then we'll have to let her sit for a while in our storage building because we want to do a sea trial before she goes back home to Georgia. And we can't do that with water that's 35 degrees. We won't run one of these old 
flathead cast iron engines in water that's cooler than 55 degrees. So it's going to be at least a month, probably two. Oh, easily two before we dare run her in the water. And it's interesting. I can't imagine why, but Joe has already offered to be the lab rat who drives her in her sea trial. Well, I'll shoot the video and we won't argue. So with that, we congratulate Giannamo for her willingness to be completely transformed into this magnificent 1947 artifact of Southern charm. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.